Hey guys, welcome back to my show. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. I'm out here in Santa Barbara once again because I'm gonna be continuing on with my best foods in Santa Barbara mini series by this time talking about a restaurant that so many people has been raving to me about that I absolutely needed to check it out. One of the hottest, best restaurants in Santa Barbara, an Italian restaurant called Toma Restaurant, which some people say is possibly the best Italian restaurant in the city. And it is in many ways because it's highly rated on Yelp and Google and a lot of people agree, best Italian American food you can find here in Santa Barbara. So if you guys wanna see what the highest rated Italian restaurant is like in Santa Barbara, then you must stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see this amazing Italian food tour that I'm about to show you. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I put out these food videos weekly that you just don't want to miss. So with that being said, it is dinner time. Let us go in. All right guys, so I'm here with Charles. He's the head chef back here at this awesome restaurant, Doma. So he's gonna be showing us some of the cool action going on here at this fancy Italian restaurant. You're gonna be making the swordfish, right? Yes, sir. All right, swordfish, here we go. I've got here is a cream corn risotto. It's a white corn, little cream salt, butter, parmesan, little parsley to finish off. Wild caught off the coast of Baja. Made for you here is a tangerine citronette. Wow. A little of our green oil, it's a little ubiquitous. We kind of put it on a little bit of everything here. It's a little parsley, spinach, and uh, green onion. Mm -hmm. And we finish it off with a little bit of julienne cucumber and orange zest. Wow. A little micro greens to give it some pop on the plate. That's all she wrote. This is our swordfish. Man, I am so hungry after walking so much in Santa Barbara earlier today, but I'm so happy to spend it tonight at this restaurant, Toma, which is one of the most raved about, best reviewed Italian restaurant in Santa Barbara. They've been here for about eight years right now, and the backstory behind it is pretty simple. The owner, Tom, he uh, dreamt of opening up a very good Italian restaurant, high quality, delicious, upscale, for the locals here in Santa Barbara and of course all the tourists who are looking for a great Italian spot in this area. So I'm gonna show you what I started with here today as well as the other stuff that's coming in just a bit. For the starters, this is what they give you. I find this so fascinating. Look at this one. This is called fried olives. That's right, green olives that are fried in some sort of batter, almost like tempura olives in some ways. Of course, every restaurant, Italian restaurant, has its fresh baked bread with butter pink sea salt. I might as well mention that they do have some really good drinks here as well. These two are house originals. The first one is the local, which is according to their menu, cucumber infused vodka, local strawberry, lemongrass, syrup, balsamic syrup, and basil. That is interesting. And the one to the right of it is the Tuscan pear, which is pear vodka, limoncello, uh, ginger, liquor, lime juice, mint. So it's like fried olives. That's an interesting taste, because inside, you taste the saltiness, the oiliness of the olive, but outside, with that fried batter texture, very unique, but it's such a good snack, though. I'm already liking it so, so much. Quite a novelty. Tuna cones is ahi sashimi with ginger, sesame, soy, chili, chives, and crispy sesame cones. Isn't that quite something? Look at that, it's like a cone shape. Basically like a cone-shaped uh, tuna, yeah. It's just like tuna on top of like rice cracker in some ways, but instead, sesame seed cracker. Tuna on top of sesame seed cracker. Best way to describe it. You get the soft melt in your mouth tuna inside, as well as the crunch of this sesame, kind of like cracker that's all around on the outside that makes this cone. A really unique, one of the most popular appetizers here at Toma restaurant. So especially if you are into raw fish, raw tuna, then don't miss out on this one. This is the squash blossoms. Yes, 
Looks so exotic, so lovely, doesn't it? Preserved lemon, pine nut, goat cheese, peas, tangerine, citronette. Colorful and delicious. This is the grilled octopus. You can see it, that's right over here. This is something I always like to get in an Italian restaurant. Romanesco, fregola pasta, olive, gremolata, smoked tomato, remoulade, and tobico roll. What is all that stuff? Um, not quite terribly sure, but all of it is fancy and I think it's really good. Squash, blossoms, next. How do I describe the taste? It tastes like a flower. Like a flower that's really cheesy because of all the cheese inside of it. I love the citrusy flavor that's outside. Very subtle. Gives it a fruity flavor in some ways. Very delicious. Mm. It tastes very pretty. That's the best word I can describe. It looks pretty and it tastes pretty as well. And it's not too heavy. Octopus. Yes, octopus time. Here we go. I love the grilled charred texture on top. Mm. Barbecue octopus, that's exactly what it tastes like. I don't know about you guys, but I love octopus. I can eat raw octopus, I can eat grilled octopus. This octopus is definitely one of the things that you should get if you're here at the restaurant. I mean, take a look at it, guys. Look at how even big this piece is. Do you see how monstrously big this piece is right there? Isn't that so cool? Yeah, so this is definitely enough to share with more than one at the table. This is something that I think is so cool. This is called a black spaghetti. You heard that right. Black colored spaghetti pasta with fresh clams, uh, pork salami, garlic, wine, butter, parsley sauce. It looks so good. Doesn't this parsley sauce look so good? Oh man. So one thing comes to mind. It tastes very chewy. Very chewy, but very nice though. They're thin spaghetti noodles. The black ink itself doesn't really add much flavor, as in like it's gonna be a tremendous difference between this and the usual color pasta. But I just like the thought of it. It seems very exotic, very new. And uh, you just don't see black pasta around that often. So that's why I thought it would be cool to eat this, but it's delicious though. What gives it the flavor is this buttery wine clam sauce that's a little bit on the spicy side as well. Very, very nice. Ooh, I like it. That's the swordfish in the center, and there's cream corn risotto on the bottom, tangerine citronette, cucumber and orange zest salad that's on top. I don't think I've quite had a swordfish like this before, but it looks so amazingly delicious. And the great thing about the swordfish is that it's so soft, you don't really need a knife. You can use your fork and break it off, and you have your bite-sized piece. It's not tough at all, oh, thank goodness. I, I love it when it's nice and soft. Kind of rich too, I love it. Yeah, and it's grilled to perfection. Truly, it is grilled to perfection. That cream corn risotto is very interesting too. It's very creamy and it tastes like a risotto. Wow, it's been a long time since I've had risotto, but it tastes really nice though. This lamb is cooked beautifully. I think it's medium rare. Uh, spice roasted, fennel and sweet peppers, Laban, crispy chickpeas, demi-glaze. It looks so colorful and so delicious. And like I said, it's cooked about medium rare, I believe. So I guess it's not gonna be overcooked. Wow, it tastes great. New Zealand lamb chops, it looks good and it tastes so good as well. These chickpeas are so dark, it's like red colored. Wow, those chickpeas are interesting. It's kind of spicy and it's crunchy at the same time. I don't think I've had chickpeas like that before. My two desserts right here, beginning with the phyllo crisp. Look at this thing, I've never seen anything like it before. This is all the phyllo layers on top, which is a like crispy dough with pistachio inside and layers. It has strawberries, raspberry mousse, pistachio pastry, which is all that, vanilla bean ice, vanilla bean cream, and berry sauce. I can't imagine what this tastes like. And then there's also this one right here. Warm chocolate tort, Belgian chocolate, vanilla bean ice cream, Marsona almond uh, tule, I think that's how you say it. What I would say is the flavor profile is crispy because of the flakes, but also very creamy. 
with a very strong strawberry taste. If you're a berry type of person, this is your dessert right here. Wow, delicious. Toma restaurant, really awesome. When you come here, you get to try so many great things. I had all the appetizers, the main entrees, meats, seafoods, pastas, you name it, they're all really good. So if you're in the Santa Barbara area and you don't know where else to eat for a dinner time, consider Toma because it's truly one of the best restaurants in Santa Barbara, if not the best Italian restaurant in this area. You know, everybody pretty much agrees and I can really say it's great as well. My food was really great. Even the desserts were so awesome too. Definitely try the Philo Crisp because it is so unique. I've never had a strawberry dessert like this one before. Of course, the chocolate one is great too, but if you want something that's truly unique, then this one is the one to go with. So if you come here, you don't know what else to get, just get whatever I got because these are some of the most popular things on the menu and I don't think you can go wrong with it. So remember, Toma restaurant here in Santa Barbara. All right guys, so before we close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out to George. He's the manager here at Toma Restaurant. So when you come to this restaurant, check it out, look out for George. Tell him you saw this episode. He's gonna take really good care of you, right George? I'll take great care of you. Come on down, you have a wonderful time. <laughs> All right, awesome. See that? Good words right here. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching this episode, guys. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. Also comment on the section below if you've had this food before. I'd love to hear your story and also subscribe so that you can get these awesome food videos on a weekly basis. Well, I hope you have a rocking day today, folks, and I uh, hope you have this rocking food sometime soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.